hope you all are doing well. Today we have quite the nice agenda lined up for us. I have a video to edit, so definitely need to have some office time to get that done, but tomorrow's like my full computer day, so we get to do a lot more of other things today. And I do think I wanna head out soon. I need to go to the garden center, the hardware store, to get some more soil. I haven't showed you on here yet, but I did post on Instagram. We ended up finding the palm tree for the living room, so I'll show you that. But I'm very excited about it, but it could use a bit more soil at the top. The planter that we have it in is just so huge, so I had, I bought quite a bit of soil and then I had some soil, but I still think it could use a little bit more just so that its roots are covered nicely and it has room to expand. So I'm going to grab another bag of soil and then I also want to look through our seeds and see if we have Cosmo seeds. I really want to plant Cosmos on our walk this morning. We have multiple little butterfly gardens around us and there's this gardening club that I just love. I need to join the club because I'm like a secret admirer. I need to just like reach out and join the gardening club. But they planted so many beautiful cosmos for the butterflies. So I want to see if I have cosmo seeds. I think I just have them in a wildflower blend. So maybe we'll just plant the wildflower blend. But then while we're getting the soil, I figured we could look at what seeds the store has. So we'll do that and then... Probably while we're out, I think we should pick up a coffee. I have been cutting down on how much caffeine I'm consuming, which has been good for me all in all. I do love my afternoon coffee and, you know, I do miss that being a consistent ritual, but I think it's good for me <laughs> to not have it every single day and have it more as like a special treat. And I think today it's time for a special treat. So I think we'll pick up some coffee and then... We'll have an editing session once we have our drink and can knock that out. And then I'm making a really yummy vegetable soup tonight and bread because there's this whole DIY that we need to try out. It's quite crazy. It's quite quirky. So it's a butter candle. And I was looking on Pinterest a couple weeks ago and I found this cool picture. I'll put it right here. I put it on my little vision board if you watched the dream planning dinner party vlog. But... There's this baguette with candles within the bread, and this is a little different than what we're doing today. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is taking butter and putting wax, a wax, um, what is it called? Stem? It's not a wax stem. Wick. A wax wick. Putting that in the middle, and then you light your wick, and then as you enjoy your bread and the butter melts, you dip the bread but it's kind of crazy it's kind of just silly because i don't know if that's good for you to have the wick with your butter i don't know if it's food grade wicks but we have to try it because it's just one of those things that i'm so curious about so we're gonna try to diy that later and my friend and i were gonna go watch the sunset eat our soup and our bread with our butter wick so that's just a little a little cherry on top of our beautiful day so that's the plan let's go ahead and pop over to the garden center get some goods and then we'll head back home okay we are back home got the goods got the potting mix i picked out this moisture control one because I feel like that'll be really good since it's indoors and in a container. So we're going to add that to our beautiful palm tree. I'm going to give you all the details. So this is a 15 gallon Bismarck palm. It has a scientific name, but most people just call it a Bismarck palm. And typically they're outside. They're very common in Florida, but Typically, use, people use them for outside landscaping. So when I was telling the tree farm owner that I'm putting it inside, I did get some hesitancy. I got some doubts, okay, but we're going to try our best, and I've been monitoring it. It's too early to tell how happy it is, but, I mean, it looks the same as it did last week, and I've been watering it every day. The soil does feel quite moist, though, so... I didn't water it today because I was feeling soil and it already feels kind of moist. So 
we're we're figuring it out hopefully it's happy and we'll be at home here and then I did find some Cosmo seeds also so I picked those up and would love to plant them today we have this and then I also have wildflower packets so I'll probably do both and then we got our coffees we got two Florida honey lattes one for me one for Brandon who's right there <laughs> Brandon wanted to share his thoughts on our new tree in our living room. He has some notions to share. I love it. <laughs> I'm just a little scared. Of what? That's gonna break our ceiling. <laughs> he thinks it's gonna be, it's gonna grow so big and it's gonna go through the ceiling. <laughs> Maybe in 50 years it would, I but. I did say that I like how it's over, like Palmer and Fed though. Yeah, it's cute because... Palm, Palmer, it's giving him some nice shade. Yeah, Palmer comfort. sleeps under the palm tree and it just feels <laughs> right. But no, the Bismarck palms can get absolutely ginormous if you plant it outside. And it still can grow in here, but it just slows the growth a lot when it's not in the earth, when it's potted and not in direct sunlight. So, so it, it has a new leaf coming in. Yeah, it's a tree. It's a palm tree. Because I know there's like palm trees that are huge, but yeah, there's I just lots of different those are types. More like a like a bush, because yeah, I kind of thought they're normally like shorter. Oh no, these could get really tall too. Okay, so it just happens to be like short. Like the but... trunk can grow and thicken too, so it's pretty neat. Interesting. Let's try not to make a mess. I'm gonna pour this in. <laughs> Just these plant nutrients that I just dilute in the watering can every few days to add in to all of our potted plants so I think they like it and it might be too early to tell there's too many factors but haven't haven't seen a negative effect but they've been thriving so wanted to share this dent in our editing and I'm going to edit a bit more soon but I want to go ahead and get started on bread because I'm making bread to go along with our butter candle naturally and I didn't I, I'm not making sourdough because I'm not set up for that because you have to plan that more in advance so we're going to try out this world's easiest yeast bread recipe artisan no need that's quite the title so hopefully that'll work out well. It has 4.98 reviews from 935 votes. So that is quite the complimentary uh, ranking. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. But it does take two hours to sit there. Well, it takes two hours rising and then 40 minute cook time. So honestly, I probably should have started this 30 minutes ago. So I need to get this going and then... We'll probably just like let that sit and then try our candle in an hour or so. And I, I'm using vegan butter because my friend who I'm doing this with and having dinner with tonight, she's sensitive to dairy. So we're going to try this vegan butter. Hopefully that won't make our job harder. And I looked up lots of, actually, I looked up one tutorial of how to do the butter candle. Not lots of them, only one. So maybe I should do some more research. But essentially, they melted the butter down, put the wick in a plastic cup, poured the melted butter around the wick within the cup, and then cut the cup open after they left it in the freezer for a bit. But I'm gonna try a different route. I want to just 
soften the butter. So I'm going to leave it out, probably pop it in the windowsill so it can sunbathe and melt a little faster. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to monitor it so it doesn't get too soft, but soft enough to sort of mold. And I'm just going to try to mold around the wax wick instead of melting it down because whenever you melt butter, it does change the consistency. And I'm, I'm so unsure about this vegan butter. So I'm just feeling better about that route. And if that's not working, then we can melt it worst case scenario. So I'd rather just go and try that first and foremost. So that's our game plan, but let's start on this bread. Nothing. I'm gonna try our hand at this candle. I am sort of doubting my technique, the technique I want to do because I have like nothing to work with besides my hands, but we're gonna try it. The butter feels like a nice consistency where it is still firm but definitely more moldable and with the heat of my hands, of course, it'll continue to be moldable. Also, the soup is pretty much ready to go. I just have to add parsley and lemon at the end also this lemon is from our Meyer lemon tree in the backyard it's been producing a lot so that's encouraging so I'm gonna work on the, the butter candle and I'll keep you guys updated this vegan butter looks pretty good it's very pale compared to dairy butter at least the kind I get I'm gonna get a knife let me smell it Smells good, actually. I think one of the first ingredients is coconut oil, which I love coconut oil. So, that sold me on it because there were a few different vegan butters. But I thought one with coconut oil would be the yummiest. Oh yeah, this is a good consistency. And my plan is to just stick it in the fridge once we mold it up. Maybe I should just like make a little hole for the wick. And then put the wick in through the hole and then like form a shape around it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That feels right. Okay. Now I am just. <laughs> this is a mess. This is such a mess, but it does feel kind of fun, I will say. It's like very soft satisfying <laughs> oh my goodness this is probably the craziest DIY we've done I have to say I'm trying to think of like a fun design we could do mm -hmm. <laughs> looks like a pear I am not sure how this is going to melt down because I feel like our wick is so intertwined. Let's see if we can see the bottom of the wick at all. Nope. Nothing. Okay, I'm making it more like a taper candle apparently. too thin and tall because I feel like we're going to want to eat the outside and not super close to the wax, um, the waxy wick. So maybe I'm going to revert back to doing it a little bit shorter. It's like I'm molding with clay. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, let's see if I can make it a little bit more symmetrical. I feel like this is very moisturizing for my hands, at least, with all the coconut oil. 
Okay, I'm gonna transfer it to a cute plate and then we'll put it in the fridge and then once it hardens up a bit, I might try to do like a little design or something. Can't help but giggle. Okay, I'm gonna stop fiddling with it, put it in the fridge, and we'll also cut the wick. except for the bread. I'm waiting until the very last minute to take it out of the oven because I should have started a little earlier, but it's looking and smelling really good. I have our butter packed up. Didn't forget the matches, but I need to leave soon. We're going to go watch the sunset and by the water, so I'm really excited for that, but here's what the bread's looking like. Hopefully it won't fog up. Oh yeah, she is gorgeous. I think, I think she'll be good to take out. today which honestly is is ideal for what I have planned today which is just a whole bunch of editing and computer work I do want to go do a hot yoga maybe later this afternoon but I, I love these sort of days when I get to stay home and it's just cozy weather so thankful about that and last night was really really sweet we had such a gorgeous sunset and yummy meal the butter candles turned out well it definitely didn't last that long it burned through the wick pretty quickly but it was fun it was yummy too to have so much butter with your bread and the vegan butter was actually quite nice the main ingredient was coconut oil which i love coconut oil i think i already shared that but um it was it was a success i would i would say it's a fun like activity for a dinner party or fun thing to serve so that was special. There were so many alligators though. <laughs> it was crazy. It's actually sad because the way these alligators were acting, they were really just looking at us and like coming for us. So you can tell that people have been feeding them, which is so sad. Please don't ever feed alligators or wildlife in general. It's just really not good for them because that's when alligators become dangerous is when people start feeding them. So, or... I shouldn't say when they become dangerous, but that they're not, typically they're supposed to be fearful of humans, like they're more cautious, but these were definitely getting too comfortable. So we came back to my house pretty soon after the sunset because it got a little spooky, but it was really nice to be by the water. And today is just, it feels so special. I'm so emotional in such a good way. Two of my closest friends are in labor right now, about to give birth, and it just is so special that both of them, like at the same time, and 
uh, I just feel so emotional and like today just feels so special and so beautiful so I am basking in all the goodness and gonna just lay low for the rest of the day but thank you so much for watching this vlog and spending time with us Palmer's in a cuddly mood now which I love but we love you all and cannot wait to see you soon bye